Hey guys, so this is a video showcasing the vintage pieces that I've collected in the last eight months. Right off the bat, we have here a gate marked griddle, or at least I think it's a griddle. No real signs any, you know, uh, on it. I can't really see it like that. Let me pick up the camera. No real signs on it. It is very warped and I picked this up from a from a friend that uh, was just trying to get rid of things and uh, he was getting rid of some of his cast iron and you know he actually had I don't know where he had gotten this but it was just bare metal nothing on it as you can tell here has a a lot of pitting a lot of pitting here but uh, it seasoned really well. It was just bare metal, gate marked. You can see here the handle. I don't know if it's considered a fancy handle. But like I mentioned, it is warped. Still, I've used it to warm up some tortillas and uh, cooked some pancakes in it and it cooked really well. It did a great job. No complaints there. Next we have a chicken fryer, number eight. And uh, picked this up off of Facebook Marketplace and he listed it as a Wagner chicken fryer. It was pretty, uh, pretty dirty and I ended up putting this in a lye bath for a couple days. And as you can see, it did turn out pretty well. Cleaned up really nice. This is what the handle looks like. So, like I said, he listed it as a Wagner. Don't know much about it. All I know is that it does a great job in it and it is lightweight compared to a Lodge chicken fryer see here pretty good uh, height on the walls the inside is smooth like I said uh, very you know very lightweight and I like it a lot I like using this one a lot when making uh, some fries or some breaded chicken for my son but it is a spinner that's the only downside to him but uh, out you know on the on the grill it works great Moving on, I also have a Griswold here that I picked up on, uh, I think it was, either my brother picked this up, I think we have two of them. So this might have been the one my brother picked up. There's another one that I got from a Facebook marketplace, but I don't think I've restored that one. This one does not spin at all. It is flat and it is lightweight. The only downside is that I feel like I need to put this in the lye bath a little longer. I put it in a lye bath, but it hasn't really seasoned well. Don't know why. I mean, it, it is pretty clean. The seasoning looks decent, but it's not black like my other ones. It is a bronze colored. A lot of people have asked me if it was rusty and I said, no, it's not rusty. It's been seasoned about four times. Just really hard to get a good seasoning on it. And it is a number eight Griswold Erie 704H small, small logo. So if you guys know a little bit about this, let me know if you guys know about some of these pieces that I have. Let me know what you guys know about them. But I just started collecting and these are just some of the pieces that I have. We, and I didn't pay a lot of money for these. These were, I think this was like $5. The uh, chicken fryer was, I think, 20 That was probably one of the more expensive ones. And then this was, I think, like five, $5. So very, very good on pricing. Moving on, 
Uh, this is one of my favorite ones. It's a lodge, but it did have some pitting, some pretty bad rust spots here. And I purchased this one as a restored um, piece from a Facebook marketplace here around my area. And uh, it's a lodge, three notch, number eight. Sits very flat. And it looks like they restored it pretty well. Eight SK, made in USA, three notch lodge. The only thing is, oh, the only thing is like what I mentioned, you can see there it has, I don't know if it's pitting or what is it, but um, those are the only things, but it's smooth. I ended up doing a coat on it and it, it accepted the coat really well, but uh, it was already listed as restored. So I just did a coat over the seasoning and I mean, I'm, I'm happy with it. And the only thing that I have noticed is that uh, if I cook potatoes, it sticks to it really crazy. Don't know why. Other than that, it's a great skillet. I like it a lot, especially because it's, it is heavy, it is thick. And like I said, it's still very, very flat. It does not spin. One of my favorite ones, actually. And it's funny because everybody mentions how they love BSR. This one is a BSR. I restored this. The only thing that I didn't like was just, it also has a very dark, dark color, like a bronze brownish color to it. Don't know, there's some staining to it, but I think I need more coats of seasoning. Um, you can still see the uh, mill marks, the original mill marks on this. And I think, like I said, I need more. I put it in the live bath and I didn't fully remove all of the original seasoning, but most of it came off. And uh, this one sits flat. And this is a BSR and it's heavy. And I think this is a not so old. I don't think it's a Red Mountain. I think it's a Century Series. Made in USA. Number 10, which is a, what, 12 and 7, 7 sixteenths? Yeah, BSR. Great, great skillet. Like the size of it. Like I said, very heavy. It's, this isn't gonna warp on you guys. And like I said, I just like how you can still see the mill marks and it's in great shape. Like I said, I think I need a little bit more seasoning on this. But uh, very happy with this one and it has become one of my favorites. Moving on, I also have a Dutch oven that I seasoned, I wanna say maybe twice now. And it is a lodge. The only thing that I don't like is just the, uh, the, lid, the lid looks a little damaged, um, almost like frail. Seasoned really well, cleaned really well. The inside, very smooth. Still needs a good seasoning on it. Like I said, I've only seasoned it once or twice. So uh, not, very, not very thick on the seasoning. You can tell it needs more. I don't know why it feels harder for me to season these vintage pieces where I feel like it shouldn't be as hard. Now, I don't know if that's a number six or a number nine. If you guys know, let me know. But uh, let me see if I can actually get some. I'll measure it and I'll let you guys know the size. So this one is About 11 and a quarter inch. And I was told it was a lodge. 11 and a quarter. 
a lodge just because of the uh, the lid. Don't know what that says. I don't know if it's 6.6 .6 quart. Number six, number nine. Is that a number nine? I think it's a number nine. So 6.6 .6 quart, number nine. I like it a lot, just like I mentioned. I think it needs another round of seasoning. And it isn't as heavy as some other Dutch ovens around this same size. So yeah, guys, that is the collection that I have built up in the last couple of months that I've been collecting cast iron. And I know a lot of people love BSR. So I had to get one and pretty much have one of each. BSR, Airy, a Wagner, a Lodge, and a date marked piece. So, and a Dutch oven, so I think this is a good start. Let me know what you guys think of this collection. I think I have, a, like I mentioned, a piece from Wagner, BSR, Griswold, Lodge, Gate Marked, and a Dutch oven at least from, well, I, from what I know, I think it's Lodge. Anyway, hope you guys enjoy this video. Just showcasing some vintage pieces that I have and that I've collected. I, I have some more that, that I'm trying to restore at the moment. And once I do, I think I'll show you guys that. Like I said, just wanted to showcase a little bit of the vintage pieces that I have. I know that I've showcased a lot of the newer cast iron that uh, has recently come up. But I hope you guys enjoy this as well. Anyway, like always, I, you know, like I always say, guys, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate your time.